In the first part of this video, I talked you through doing the preliminary research if you're planning on going into a niche that you don't know a great deal about or to find a niche that you don't know a great deal about. In this second part of the video, I want to talk you through doing the deeper research so that you'll know whether or not it's the right niche for you and whether or not you'll know it's a viable niche or not. Now, the first place to begin your deeper research is online. And there are several things that you'll want to do on the internet to carry out your research further. The first thing is to look at some forum discussions. What you do is you go to Google and you type in the name of your niche followed by forum. And that should bring up several forums in your niche. If there aren't any, that might be indicative of a problem and you might have to reconsider whether or not this is going to be a viable niche. But if there are forums uh, on the subject, then the next thing you want to do is to spend some time reading the posts on the forums. You might have to join the forum. Uh, most forums have the capability for you to join as a free member. Perhaps it's just to read, but that's all you want to do, really. You don't really want to host anything unless you happen to know something about the subject. So spend some time reading the posts and see what's being discussed. What questions do people have? What answers are they being given? And this is going to do two things, really. You're going to know what the wants and needs are in this particular niche. And it's also going to provide you with some information that you can use to create your own niche product or that uh, you can use to do further research and drill down even further in this niche. Let me give you an example here. Now I'm using the search term dog training for this demonstration. And you can see here I've put dog training forum into Google. And you've got a lot of different forums here all to do with dog training. And let's just um, click on that one just so you can see what it looks like. And if I scroll down a bit, you can see you've got all sorts of different topics that you can look through that uh, can give you some ideas as to uh, niches to look for or subjects to, uh, to build a niche product around. Another good site to look at is Yahoo Answers. And similarly to looking at forum sites, you want to see what questions are being asked and you want to see what answers are being given. And what you do is you come here to answers.yahoo.com and then you enter your question here into the box and click here where it says search answers. And following on our dog training uh, theme from earlier, the question I put in here is best way to stop my dog from jumping up at people. And you can see there are several answers listed here or several people have asked the question here and they have various answers. And what you can do is simply click up on this link here and then you can scroll and see the answers. And you've got here, some are good answers. Some people think it's funny to put flippant answers to these questions, uh, but you can scroll through and find the best ones. And that will give you an idea as to the sort of things that people are looking for online. And you can use these answers also to help build um, a niche product, uh, such as an ebook or video or something like that around the answers. If you have a specific question that you need to answer, or some specific information that you want to discover, then a good way to find that out is to ask people to answer a survey. So get people in that niche to respond to a survey, asking them what they want. And forum discussions and also Yahoo Answers will point you in the right direction. 
You want to offer an incentive for people to complete the survey, and that can be some sort of ebook, perhaps some repackaged private label rights product, uh, which you can give away at minimal cost, but offers uh, a high perceived value as an incentive for people to answer the survey. And they can only get through to the download page after they finish going through the survey. And in order to get people to go to the survey page to begin with, the best way to do that is via a solo ad. So what you want to do is find someone who already markets to that niche, someone who has a newsletter or a mailing list, and then you pay them to send out a solo ad with some copy that tells the people what the uh, survey is about, has a link to the survey page, and tells them what they'll get for taking part in the survey. And then you can use the response to that to do two things, to either um, to refine the sort of angle that you want to take when you're approaching this niche, but also uh, to come up with ideas as to the right sort of product that you want to sell to this niche. And a couple of tools that you can use to accomplish this. The first one is SurveyMonkey, which you'll find here at surveymonkey.com. And this is a hosted solution. There are both free and paid for versions, and you can read all about it on the page. If you have your own hosting, you might try downloading Lime Survey. You can get it from limesurvey.com. Or if you have um, Fantastico or Soft Delicious as part of your hosting package, you can probably install it directly from um, within the control panel. And the two types of software are very similar indeed. Now, once you've finished your online research, it's time to do some offline research to delve deeper into this niche. If you're going after a business-related niche, then you should talk to trade associations. Many occupations, uh, many professions have trade associations or professional associations that you can talk to. You might even want to become an associate member to get access to their archive and to be able to go to meetings and that sort of thing. And linking up with a trade association does two things. First of all, it allows you to find out what's going on in this particular niche. It allows you to find out uh, what the wants and needs of uh, the people who are in this niche are. It also provides you with a valuable link to some potential customers when you actually start to launch your product, or when you start to launch your website or your blog, because you may well be able to form a joint venture with this association and reach your audience much more quickly. Another thing to do is to go to trade shows and exhibitions. Trade shows and exhibitions happen all the time. You might have to go to another city to attend one, but it's going to be money well spent because you'll be able to see what's going on in this particular niche. You'll be able to see what products are available in this particular niche. You'll be able to see what your competitors are doing in this particular niche. And you'll also be able to find if there are any sub niches within this particular niche, because you'll find that certain exhibitors at a trade show or exhibition only market to a particular segment of that niche. So you might be able to find a really profitable sub niche by going to an exhibition. If you're going after a broader business related niche and it's something to do with small or medium sized businesses and it's something that you can sell to your local area, then it's a good idea to join a chamber of commerce and talk to the people there and to find out what the needs are in this particular niche. Or if you're thinking about um, developing a niche product, you can sound people out as to whether it's something that people would want to buy. So you can do that before you invest the time and money in actually making the product. If you're going after a hobby niche, well, similarly, you want to join a club or society. And there are lots of hobby clubs. You know, I think there's a probably a club for every different hobby. Find one that's local to you go to the meetings, talk to the members, find out what their wants and needs are, 
find out what's going on. And again, you can use it to not only find out information, but you can also use it to assess the potential profitability of uh, any niche venture. In the personal niche, um, again, it depends what type of personal niche you're going after. But in some, you might find that there's a support group or there may be an association uh, for people who have this interest. But again, you can ask around and find this information out. But regardless of whether you're going after a business, a hobby or a personal niche, the key to finding information and the key to finding whether uh, this particular niche is a viable one for you is to talk to others and ask questions. And when you do that, you'll get information, you'll find potential customers, and you'll meet potential collaborators for when it's time to create your own product. Because if this is a niche that you don't know a great deal about, you're going to want to bring other people on board to help you reach this market and to help you develop a product that's unique. So there you go. That's how you can research and assess the viability of a niche that you don't know anything about.